guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am sharing with you guys my current favorites. I have a couple of things that I've been using non-stop since the year started, but let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that I want to mention are these lashes. They are the Lily Lashes in the style Opulence. Um, I don't have it in the box with me, obviously, because I'm wearing them right now. But I will put a picture up right here of me wearing them, like, more closer up. These have been my favorite lashes. I used to love my Samantha lashes from Huda Beauty or my Coco lashes, Goddess and Queen Bee. But my brother got these for me for Christmas, and I've just been obsessed. They're not very natural. Well, nothing looks natural on me, but if you have normal eyes and you don't have Asian eyes like I do, they'd look pretty natural. Compared to like Goddess or Iconics or Samantha Lashes, they're pretty natural. They're even all the way around the lash. They're not like wispy or anything, and they're just so fluffy and flirty and I just love them. The next two things that I want to mention are foundations. This is the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Tinted Hydrating Gel Cream. I have been loving this. Like, I'm in the color five, or no, I'm in the color six, which is ginger. I really like this formula. Normally, I wouldn't try anything from Bare Minerals just because I know that typically their products are pretty, like, natural and I'm more of, like, full coverage but this actually gives me like a decent amount of coverage it's definitely not like high coverage but it's definitely like buildable light to medium coverage um i've been really liking the more natural face i've been trying a lot of tinted moisturizers it's really really creamy since it's been winter time where i'm from in oklahoma my face has been really really dry so i had to steer away from like the matte foundations and this is super hydrating. It doesn't make my face look patchy. My cheeks are the areas on my face where it's the driest and it doesn't like make them drier. Does that make sense? Like when it like flakes and stuff, I hate that. I hate when my face flakes and like a lot of foundations because they're so full coverage and like most of them are matte, they like bring that out, but this doesn't because it is a hydrating tinted gel cream so yeah i've been loving this be on the lookout for a tinted moisturizer or just something lighter for your face like a bb cream cc cream anything like that this is the way to go i love this and then the second one which is the complete opposite of the bare minerals tinted moisturizer this is the becca ultimate coverage complexion cream foundation i'm not sure if i've mentioned this before i might have I think it was in a haul, so never mind. I'm in the color Buttercup, which is so light. I got so pale recently. Not recently, for like the past couple of months. But I've been really loving this foundation. It's definitely a matte, matte, matte foundation. This is the only foundation that I can wear and it doesn't make my nose look oily. You guys don't understand like how oily my nose gets and the fact that this is the only foundation that keeps it matte and not oily. And this is the only one that keeps my nose matte for 12 hours, like a long period of time. Any other foundation that claims to be like mattifying, they are for like the first couple of hours, but like three to five hours into it, my nose starts getting oily again and it just, I hate it. I wish my nose wasn't oily, that's the only part of my face that is oily definitely full coverage like with one layer it's already like medium to full coverage and then you if you add a second layer on it's like you're snatched for the rest of the night even though this is a mattifying foundation it doesn't bring out my dry patches like it doesn't make them look worse than they already do so I really like this about it. I was afraid that I wasn't going to be able to use it because I started getting dry, but I still use it and it works really, really nice. The next thing I want to talk about is something that everybody's talked about. Everybody loves it. Like if you've been in the makeup industry or you've been playing with makeup for a long time, you know that everybody and their moms have this bronzer. It is the NARS 
Laguna bronzer. I'm so, so, so late on the bandwagon, but better late than never. This is my current favorite bronzer. First off, packaging. I love NARS packaging. NARS is probably like my all-time favorite brand. If I had to pick like one brand, it'd be NARS. But the color, you can see it's like a nice ashy, a warm, ashy, bronzy color. Like perfect for contouring, perfect for bronzing. It's just like the absolute perfect color. There's like a hint of shimmer, but you can't see it on your face. Like it it just looks so good on. So if you haven't jumped on the bandwagon, you should. Next, I'm going to talk about my new brow product. Ever since I've used the Benefit Brow, I like can't go back to my Anastasia. Not yet anyways, maybe in like in the future, I'll like the Anastasia Dip Brow again, but right now I'm definitely loving the Cabrow by Benefit. I'm in the color five, and I just love how like the applicator is like on top of like the lid. I'll never forget my brow brush anymore, and it just opens up like this. It's in a pot. Um, the Anastasia's brow thing, the Dip Brow Pomade, is a pomade, so it like gets crusty and dry a little quicker. This is a gel so it doesn't do it as quickly. And I really like this because it like makes everything look really hair-like. So it doesn't just like make my eyebrows look like a big block. I would say that it's a lot easier to work with. It's a lot easier to make like natural brows with this. I couldn't get the Anastasia Dip Brow to look natural. I kept looking blocky on my eyebrows. Like every single day I would have a different brow shape because I couldn't get my pomade to be consistent anymore and I was just tired of it so I finally decided to try this and I love it. The second to last thing that I want to mention is the Lorac Pro or the Lorac Mega Pro 3 palette. It is so beautiful. First off, I love the color range. I love how there's a good amount of like shimmery shades and, the, and also the matte shades. The matte shades are on the first two rows right here and then the shimmers are these last two rows right here. I love that it has a gigantic mirror. It's great for traveling. But I would say like when it comes to like eyeshadow palettes, Lorac has my absolute favorites. They're just so creamy and pigmented and easy to blend and I just love it. Like, I wish I would have gotten the first two Mega Pro palettes, but I'm glad I got my hands on this one. But yeah, this is my current favorite. I bring this everywhere, and it's like the only one that I used, and I actually used it for my eye look today. But yeah, you just can create so many different looks with this palette. Look at the packaging. It's rose gold with white. Like, who wouldn't love that? No one. You, everybody loves this. It just gets dirty so quickly. That's the only thing, and I'm like, I don't keep my makeup clean at all. So that's the only problem, but I still love it. So the last three products that I'm gonna show you are lip products. The first one is the Smith's Rosebud Salve Balm. Salve? 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 S-A-L-V-E. I can't pronounce that word. But it is a lip balm and it smells like roses. I don't normally like the smell of roses per se, like everybody else does. But I love this lip balm. You guys remember like a couple of videos ago in my haul when I bought like when I bought like a bunch of lip balms? Well, I've tried all of them and I just I just love this one. First off, I love the applicator. It's like the angled applicator. So just like rolls on your lips perfectly. It smells, I like this, I like this rosebud smell. I don't know if it's just me. 
and it smells different and it's really really moisturizing I can put it on and it actually like stays on my lips when I like take sips or like I eat um, a lot of the other lip balms like I'll put it on and then like five minutes later I'd have to reapply because it's already gone but I really like this. Then the other two lip products are MAC lipsticks. This is Velvet Teddy, which you guys already know if you've watched my Holy Grail video. I'll link it down below in the description box. This is my Holy Grail lipstick. This was the first lipstick my mom ever got for me. I've loved it ever since. It's the only lipstick that I've, or any lip product that I've run out of. Um, it was so sad. It was like down to its like the very very bottom like I couldn't even use it anymore um so I finally got a new one and then I also got honey love and these are both the matte formulas let me swatch it for you guys real quick okay these swatches are like not good at all because I'm using my left hand but they will do so the bottom one is a Velvet Teddy and then the top one is Honey Love. Velvet Teddy is like a really like a nude but it's like a more on the pink side. Um, it just matches everything. I love topping it off with the Samantha Lip Gloss by Buxom. Um, it's the perfect combination. It's like a, the perfect everyday lipstick and then the top. Honey Love is a pink nude as well. It's just a lot lighter. I love that color. I don't know. I've been liking like neuter lips. Usually I don't go for it because it kind of washes me out. But I love this color. It looks perfect on the lips. Like it's like flirty colors I feel like. But yeah, these are my two favorite lipsticks right now. So that is it for my current favorites. Oh, actually, one more thing. Have you guys heard of like the pop socket thing? Well, this is what it is. It like pops out and like you can like hold your phone and sorry, my phone's charging. But like you can like hold it and like hold it like this and it just like it'll never fall off your fingers. And I got... um. A marble one because it matches my case and I love it like I'm never afraid of dropping my phone anymore like I can stretch like I'm stretching my fingers completely like apart and it still doesn't fall off it just like makes it so much more comfortable especially because I do have the iPhone 6s plus so it's like as big as my face basically so it's just a lot easier to hold so I've been loving this it's on the pop socket website is where i got mine i think they're like ten dollars i'll link it down below for you guys as well but that is the last thing that i want to mention for my current favorites i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you liked it don't forget to give me a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and i'll see you guys in my next video